Hello, hello, it's Morgan again. So today's topic is on um, feeding logs and documenting to make sure that mamas get that expression and that stimulation that they so vitally need in these first few days into first few weeks of their breastfeeding. Now, a lot of mamas have access to a feeding log of some sort or an app or anything, and so it's really good to encourage that documentation in these first few days to weeks. Now, currently at our hospital, we have this lovely feeding log. Now, I'm gonna just tell you what I tell my mamas about the feeding log. Kind of puts a feeding log in a different mind frame because a lot of times the moms look at our feeding log as just essentially a homework assignment that we're asking them to fill out and turn in like it's gonna be graded or something, okay? So what I say is the feeding log here, while they're here in the hospital, oops, can you see the light? Yeah. While they're here in the hospital, the feeding log allows for really good communication between them and the nurses and their providers as to how the breastfeeding is looking like here in the hospital. It also lets them know their goals for every day. Now the goals for breastfeeding are the eight to 12 times two breasts every 24 hours. And that does include that first 24 hours. Now I know the baby's sleepy and we're a lot of times not gonna get that goal, but there's a lot that we can be doing too to get closer to that goal. We do not want moms to fall back on, oh baby's sleepy and I don't need to do anything. Um, or I know some hospitals have minimal, I know our hospital has a minimal requirement for how often or how many times babies need to go, needs to go to the breast in the first day to be considered adequate. But as providers, we need to strive for more. We need to maximize that intake into baby, maximize mom's confidence in her breastfeeding, and let her know that things are gonna be okay. So in the first few days while she's here at the hospital, the feeding log is for that communication for the providers. Allows us to know by our assessments, compared to how the baby's eating, how the nutrition is looking like in geared to go home. So it gives us all of that information. Um, and then when they go home, the feeding log acts as that kind of support. It allows them to look at their day and say, hmm, did baby get to breast eight times? Wow, we did. So by baby nursing eight times, I know my breast got enough stimulation. By nursing baby eight times, I know that baby got enough nutrition, which is a big anxiety reliever for moms. It also allows them to game plan out their evenings a little bit. Hmm, baby only nursed five times today. I know I'm gonna have to wake this little one up at least three times tonight to meet my goal for intake. And so it allows them to take a little bit more charge of their breastfeeding and make sure that their supply gets enough stimulation as well as baby gets enough intake. And if baby's too sleepy, they then can go to their plan B, which is either pumping or hand expression or do something and give that baby that extra intake it needs to meet that gap to still meet their goal. Okay, and then also with the diapers, it lets them know that by meeting their goal, that baby's getting enough in because that baby's having enough out. So I highly encourage the parents to do that feeding log for the full time of that feeding log. So in our book, it's nine days. Um, that gives them really good peace of mind that even after discharge, they can compare what the baby's been doing. They can bring this log with them to the pediatrician and then they can have discussions based on the baby's assessment and weight loss and or weight growth and things, how the feeds are reflected in that assessment. By the end of the feeding log, by that day nine, that mom should feel really comfortable about how her breastfeeding is going. She's feeding often enough to have a good supply. That baby's nursing often enough to have a good intake. The baby's peeing and pooping enough, saying that enough is going in. And then her milk supply is established, so that are on its way to being fully established at least, so that her breasts are feeling fuller before a feed, softer after a feed. That baby appears hungry before a feed, but then appears satisfied after a feed. And so she should be getting that sense of comfort by the end of her feeding log that breastfeeding is going well. It also provides the first safety net to uh, have her contact somebody if she still has questions or concerns before she gets too far down the rabbit hole where we have to pull her back and do a lot more interventions. So I tell mamas, by that ninth day, assess how things are going. You should feel really comfortable and confident 
or if you still have concerns, that's the time to reach out to a connection in the community or your local hospital or us back again and ask those questions, get that comfort, get on that right road. It's so much easier to help a mom who's one to two steps off her road to pull her back to where she needs to be than if she's been going down that rabbit hole and then we have to pull up a whole lot more tips and tricks to get her there. So that's it with the feeding log highly encourage not just the first nurse to just say hey here it is write it down but again follow up consistency all of us nurses saying have you been doing your feeding log and getting them to get closer to their goals and in especially that first day or two um, emphasizing the need to if baby is still sleepy doing something to still get at least as close to that goal as possible. We don't wanna fall back on minimums that we need to reach. Those are our safety nets. We need to try to reach goals. And the goals are still that eight times in that first day if possible. And that can be very easily utilized by just doing hand expression to the baby's mouth or hand expression to a spoon or hand expression to a cup and drawing it up with a syringe. There's so many different ways we can get that intake into baby. And so um, letting moms rest, but not focusing on so much of latch, but just getting that stimulation and getting that intake in in that first 24 hours that's going to set up the rest of her stay to be as optimal as possible so that's it with the feeding log hope that helps and remember we have to moms are sleepy so we have to act as a team and multiple people need to be asking how's that feeding log going okay have a good one and i'll see you next week